総員戦闘配置ロイヤルメイド隊の勇士を敵に見せつけてやりましょう女王陛下に栄光あれ Hello and welcome! Today we're in the Tier 9 Italian Destroyer di Paolo Emilio. We're playing a match on the map Sleeping Giant, and today I'd like to show you guys how to YOLO safely, I guess, or that you should YOLO safely. You start out the match spawning on the western side by going towards the enemy, and I pay attention to my RPF, and I try to get behind this island so that I can surprise the enemy. If I run into an enemy destroyer, normally they would spot me way before I spot them, but because there was an island in between, I was able to not get spotted until I was able to spot the Yuguma in return. This prompted the Yuguma from actually taking real evasive action, which is to use a smokescreen. If I hadn't had the island there, the Yuguma would have spotted me and she would have turned around and ran away because her concealment is almost two kilometers better than mine, which means that she'd keep me spotted for her bigger ships who would just take, who would just keep shooting me and uh, deal lots and lots of damage. And as Apollo Emilio, your health pool is extremely important because you have six kilometer torpedoes and your gunfire power is actually, well, I guess it's not inferior to the Yuguma, but it's basically the same. When you're firing SAP and she's firing HE, by the way. Which means that you're not gonna win many gunfights against destroyers. You can surprise them and deal a lot of damage in a single salvo, which is exactly what you should do. But in an extended gunfight, you don't want to take those. But I'm still going to push into the smoke screen because I think Yuguma actually left it. And I mean, my SAP might be quite useful. I still have my own smoke screen as well. So this smoke here actually allows me to get closer to the enemy. Oh, RPF actually jumped. So either Yuguma is where that Iowa is, or that Iowa is actually now closer than the Yuguma is. That's extremely... Oh, yeah, no, Iowa is closer. Yuguma is right there. Should take a shot on her. Even though it'll give my plan away, but I'm really close to this Iowa. So here's my plan. I'm going to try to rush that Iowa once my torpedoes are reloaded. So it'll be 20 seconds or so. So once my smoke screen disappears, I'm going to use my own and I'm going to just sail towards the Iowa. I'm going to torpedo, but I'm not going to get so close that I that I'll get spotted. At least I'll try not to get so close. I want to save my HP for later parts of the match. As you can see, I'm just turning away. I really wish I had a few extra seconds so I wouldn't have to launch all of these. So I wouldn't have to wait for the torps to reload. Oh no, the middle part is on the other side. I can't fire my guns, because if I do, I am instantly spotted. Come on, reload. Seven seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, excellent. Now the Iowa is gone, and we didn't take a single point of damage. I mean, we're probably gonna take some damage, because our smoke just ended, and I'm probably gonna get hit by, like, one salvo from something, but still. We took out this Iowa without losing any HP. Oh! <laughs> There's a Mahan right there, okay. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna take a salvo from there, but she only has 4,000 HP. If she shows me side, I'm just gonna one-shot her. But obviously the Mahan is smart, so she didn't. By the way, there's another destroyer in that cap I just noticed. A Sims. And they even have a battleship with them. But sadly, my torpedoes on one side are actually all used up, but the other side actually is still fine. I don't have a smoke screen. That's a 90 second reload on there, but we still could potentially threaten that Tirpitz. We still have the speed boost, so if the Tirpitz gets really close, I can still disengage using the speed boost. Okay, I want to wait for the Tirpitz, because I want to just catch her when she comes around the island. Although, maybe she just won't expect torpedoes at all. The one cool thing with the Paolo Emilio Torps is that they deal very high damage. Oh, <laughs> Sims! Okay, this is actually perfect. This is actually perfect cover for actually launching the Torps too. Okay, Mahan is smoking, but we're gonna finish her off first. Oh, come on! 800 HP? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I believe in myself. Do I take a blind? No, I'm not gonna shoot at all. I'm unspotted! <laughs> Excellent, thank you for the smoke screen, Mahan. Oh, and Tepitz gets hit by two torps for 35,000 damage. 
I mean, look, I've done 140,000 damage. I, I have, I've only lost 10k HP. And my second smokescreen is up in a bit. Although I'm not sure if I'm even gonna need it, because it seems like the enemy team is just falling apart. I suppose losing ships, like the other side on the enemy team didn't seem to do well. well look at the minimum, look at where are you that she is. But this side also for the enemy didn't work out well. I'm guessing part of it is because I YOLO'd the Iowa so early, so ships were just getting into position to start the real fighting, and then their big battleship just went down from full HP. That's a pretty big loss for any team, because it tends to snowball from there, because now every ship that was relying on the Iowa's protection, to some extent like the destroyers, they were suddenly all vulnerable. And then the Tuppets pushed through, since there was no Iowa to threaten us, Tepets was the main focus immediately along with the other destroyers and, you know. End result is that basically everything collapsed for them. The attacking lines. Okay, so the plan is to just YOLO this Colorado. I don't really have to use smokescreen right now. I could, but I don't have to. Is that? The no, that's not the middle torp. Damn it. Okay, Yuguma, I'll just shoot you. Since the Colorado isn't really shooting me, and neither is, well, really anybody else to be honest it's actually it wasn't as important to use smokescreen here wait how am i spotted oh no i got too close to the colorado while firing the guns oh that was a mistake damn it oh wow <laughs> and the torps just <laughs> look at that gap between the torps what what the hell is that so they just colorado just slipped through but it's okay i still have 9k hp now, I do have high alpha, which means that fighting these the sims that's right here in front of me with very little HP is extremely good for me. Because I'm likely to just one-shot her. Also, Colorado also took a torpedo and then went down to the Missouri. Oh, so, sims is right there. RPF is absolutely vital on the ship. It's just so important to know where the ships are. Wait, how am I spotted then? Why did it take so long for the ship to appear? But regardless, goodbye sins. And uh, yeah, I think the game's over. <laughs> they have 8 points. Okay, no, they have 38 points, but it's a 9 versus 3, okay? <laughs> and I can still... I don't know, at least fight one more ship, right? Sure, I'm not gonna win a gunfight against uh, Yugumo if we were to have infinite time or something. But if we just meet up like once, I'm gonna blap the Yugumo really hard, and I might only need two salvos. Okay, the Z3023 is here, it's a little too healthy. I might need more than two salvos. Depends on how many shells actually hit. I'm gonna speed boost to be able to at least potentially avoid some of the damage. Although, maybe she'll just fire at the Z31. That's 5k damage, ouch. Okay, I probably should have just finished my... Fired all of my guns, because... You know, in retrospect, it was obvious the game was gonna end from that, but... I wanted to make sure I avoided those tarps, so I could go after the Yuguma after that, but... Sadly, the enemy team lost too quickly. But hey, 167k damage. Only 8 torpedo hits, high caliber and confederate. I really wanted to show that initial uh, YOLO on the Iowa. The fact that I never got spotted. That was me YOLOing safely. Wait, what? Cossack 1906, me 2229, and number two is at 1200. <laughs> or number three, sorry. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I, I feel like me and the Cossack did um, a lot of work this game. And the, remember the Yudachi I mentioned? She was literally last on our team, so maybe she wasn't as important after all. Look, five torpedoes on the Iowa, 80k damage. I mean, that's kind of how it is, right? 130k damage from the uh, torpedoes. YOLOing safely is important because it keeps your HP up. It means that you can YOLO something later again when your next smokescreen is up. So it's really important to not get too close, especially early on in the match. And I think this is something that uh, is actually quite hard to deal with. Because if the Paula Emilia never gets too close and never actually fires her guns, you're just guessing on where she tarps. I'm actually, I've actually changed my build since then, but this is what I used. IFA, Last Stand, Survivability Expert, Concealment Expert, a Radio Location, this is extremely important of a skill. 
But then Adrenaline Rush, Grease the Gears, and um, the Consumables Enhancement thing. But the way I've changed my build is that I've dropped Grease the Gears, the uh, Preventative Maintenance, and... Um, I think, yeah, I dropped Adrenaline Rush as well. So I think it's actually Adrenaline Rush and just Grease the Gears that I dropped, or something along, along those lines. And I took the uh, skill which boosts my maximum speed engine something here, next to RPF. Because it's just so good that you can go almost 60 knots. Well, actually you can go over 60 knots, but usually you turn, so... When you're using your speed boost, so you never actually go quite that fast. But you can build up to over 60 knot speed. Upgrades wise, reload, concealment, rudder shift. Although you could go propulsion, I like rudder shift more. Uh, then turret traverse. The reason I like rudder shift is because I have a speed boost. Then turret traverse, especially if you don't have greasy gears. Torpedo tubes would also be actually quite nice to have. Uh, by the way, if you wanna want my newer build, check out my a previous Paula Emilia video. Then engine boost and main arts modification one. God, I just love this ship. It's it's so much fun, and if you YOLO safely, you can YOLO many times in one game. Well, maybe not many, at least a few times. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like to thank the patrons on Patreon. Thank you very much for your continued support, and I hope I'll see you guys next time.